I don't care what one thinks about me um, or what judgments you want to make about what happened in the privacy of my own home and my marriage behind closed doors. A lot of things have been coming out about Amber Heard as of late, and as you might have guessed, not a lot of them are good. Even somebody who is sure I'm deserving of all this hate, even if you think that I'm lying, you still couldn't look me in the eye and tell me that you think on social media there's been a fair representation. Or in fact, not one was good in the overall sense when you think about it. Ever since she was struck with that verdict in the defamation trial against her ex-husband in Johnny Depp, she's been reeling, and many are quick to note it. The problem for her is that despite the loss she's already taken, more and more sources and leaks are coming out about her and further damaging the narrative she's trying to craft for herself. With a set of them coming out just recently, we'll break it down for you, but before we do that, go ahead and do us a favor by leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. Number 4. Emails Let's start with a pair of emails that have apparently come out and really put Amber Heard in a corner. Amber Heard's PR team insiders accidentally let leak an email where the Aquaman star is dubbed guilty by the very people being paid to make her look innocent. Whoops. This revelation has been made in a leaked email shared by Jessica Krause. The email begins by apologizing to Krause for the threatening note shared earlier. The note in question warned Krause against releasing any news of Amber Heard's alleged parties and read, You're in great danger if you release part 4 of Amber Heard fake party stories. You don't want to mess with us. Think of your family. Your choice. The sender of the email began by highlighting Amber's crime and admitted, here's the deal. On June 2nd, after the verdict, in order to change the narrative, all affair from Shane Combs contacted several Heard Stan accounts in order to further step up the effort of making Amber look innocent. The email further went on to allege that the unsealed doc was seen as a massive opportunity to shift the scale, even going so far as misrepresenting the facts. Ten bars from NBC News is part of that effort. She plans to target you this month with a hit piece about your lies. So yeah, there's a lot that you can read from that leaked email. Obviously, at present, we can't know if it's true, and it's very important to note that this wouldn't be the first time that a false statement has been used to try and hurt Amber Heard or Johnny Depp during this very dark saga. That being said, if this is true, that's not good at all. Amber Heard has been trying to say that she's done nothing wrong throughout the entirety of the case, but threatening someone? Telling someone that her team is going to misrepresent the facts of a case? Not cool. Number 3. Public Relations Directive Amber Heard is also under fire for employing a PR firm to get back the public by discrediting Johnny Depp's verdict as well as court facts on social media. This comes via a source named Jacob as part of a leaked email that has also been circulating online. In the email, the source starts off by offering an apology about the threatening email that was previously shared and leaked as well. The insider wrote, I owe you an explanation about what's actually happening. It began by saying, The truth is, the insider revealed is that Amber is guilty, but an entire PR firm has been employed to help discredit the verdict against her in the Johnny Depp defamation case. Reportedly, the team also intended to try and twist the facts involved in the case to sway public opinion and win back favor for Heard. Before concluding, the source even went on to admit, I heard the audios of Amber confessing to assaulting Johnny, and of course her bruised photos are fake. Believe it or not, this part is actually one of the more believable elements of the leaked stories, because during the middle of the defamation trial earlier that week, Amber Heard had fired her PR team and hired a different one, one that just so happened to have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Johnny Depp in a previous issue. Heard apparently did the swap because she was very much over how Depp was getting the lion's share of the positive press while she was being labeled as a monster, among other things. So her trying to use the PR firm to discredit Depp and the trial itself would actually fit with all that's been going on with her, not the least of which is her and her team doing all they can to try and say the trial was rigged against her and that people were believing Johnny Depp because he's more famous. They even said that about the jury, if you recall. So if her new PR team is on board with doing everything they can to discredit Johnny Depp, that's not good that it's been leaked out. 
Number two, different trajectories. While all of that is going on, Hollywood has seemingly welcomed back Johnny Depp, while Amber Heard is languishing in the shadows after the ex-couple's highly public defamation trial. The 59-year-old star made a cameo appearance at the MTV Video Music Awards recently, with his face projected inside the helmet of the iconic MTV Moon Man. He joked that he needed the work. Meanwhile, Heard remained the subject of cruel memes. She's been called a liar, a fantasist, and has been inundated with hundreds of threats. The Aquaman star is continuing to struggle after losing the legal battle against the Pirates of the Caribbean actor. Depp got his career back on track more or less, while Heard continued to be mocked. Depp has seemingly got off lightly in the aftermath, whereas Heard has been transformed into a figure of hate, and we're yet to see her secure big new movie roles or award show appearances. Surely everything that came out about their relationship during the court battles would have written off many future career opportunities for Depp. Depp, before the verdict announced, took to the stage in Sheffield, supporting rock star Jeff Beck on tour as he knew that he had already won in the public opinion court. His animated series Puffin's Impossible is getting rave reviews, and period drama La Favorite, which season stars Louis XV, is set for release soon. As for Amber, the only really big role that she's got right now has been delayed once again. We're talking, of course, of the Aquaman sequel. And despite all the filming being done, the petition to get her kicked off the film is at 4.6 million signatures and rising. So yeah, not the best of times for Amber Heard. But the good news for for her is that a new take on the case is coming, it's just not going to be from her. Number 1. The Documentary A two-part documentary about Johnny Depp's defamation trial against ex-wife Amber Heard will be released September 19th on Discovery+. Plus. Titled Johnny vs. Amber, The U.S. Trial, the documentary features interviews with Depp's lawyers, legal experts, and journalists, along with behind-the-scenes footage amid the trial, which was held between April and June this year. The first episode will investigate Depp's side of events, covering his A.B. childhood and drug dependencies, and presenting an alternative version of events that showed Johnny to be a victim of domestic AB himself. The second episode will focus on Amber Heard's side of things and how she had to endure the AB from Depp throughout their relationship. Obviously, this documentary is going to be more interesting than when it was first announced because we know the verdict of the defamation case, but that doesn't mean they can't put a unique spin on things, especially with the court footage that they're going to show off. How they frame the story is obviously something that many people are going to watch the documentary for. Will they truly try and be impartial and just present the facts, or given how the verdict went, will they tailor it more to Amber Heard's side of things? All questions are good ones at this point. No doubt, if the documentary doesn't paint her in a good light, Amber Heard will try and make a statement bashing those that made it. She might do that anyway, given her recent track record. No matter what though, Amber Heard is not in the best of positions right now, and if the appeal that she has coming up doesn't go her way, well, let's just say things are only going to get harder for her, and more reports like the ones we talked about today will likely follow suit. And there you have it everyone, a look at the latest news bombs that have dropped on Amber Heard and why they might be really damaging to her case overall, especially with her appeal coming up. Do you think that these reports are from legit sources, or is this part of the smear campaign that has been going on with her for a long time? Will you watch the documentary when it comes out? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.